We all make mistakes. To err is to be human. No one is born perfect, and you certainly can't expect to pick up a new hobby, like writing with fountain pens, and expect to do it perfectly from the start. However, some mistakes are unforgivable, especially if you are warned about them beforehand. In this video, I'll show you 11 costly mistakes that can ruin your enjoyment of fountain pens. Just because there's a colorful fluid inside of a bottle that calls itself ink does not mean it is suitable for fountain pens. India inks and calligraphy inks are meant for dip pens and are damaging to fountain pens. Such ink will cause your fountain pen to get clogged. To get yourself out of this jam, use a pen flush like the one from Monteverde to soak and rinse out the nib and feed. In the future, make sure you pick up a suitable fountain pen ink. There are over a thousand bottles to choose from at goldspot.com. The more you know. Paper is such an important element of the writing experience, yet it's often the most overlooked. Much of the attention goes to the pen design and the colorful ink, yet neither of those matter when you use whatever paper is laying about. On recycled paper, fountain pen ink will feather, bleed through, and make your writing look a sloppy mess. When you invest in your writing setup, make sure to include fountain pen friendly paper. Rhodia notepads, Clairefontaine notebooks, and Tomoe River journals all have suitable papers. And if you're at the mercy of whatever paper is supplied at the office or school where you do the majority of your writing, then I would suggest using an ink like Noodler's X Feather, which resists feathering on low quality papers. The more you know. Do you throw your inked fountain pens in a cup, drawer, or bag, only to be forgotten for weeks or months? Not only might the ink dry out, but your pen might be clanging together with other pens, keys, coins, and so on, marring the precious finish of your pen. Protect your pens by storing them in a case or a sleeve. Also, don't have too many pens inked at one time. Make sure each pen has the love and attention it deserves. The more you know. Question: Does your pen suck at sucking up ink? When you fill a typical fountain pen using bottled ink, make sure the nib is fully submerged up to where it meets the section. If you dip it halfway, you won't get the suction to bring the ink into the pen. The more you know. Fountain pens teach you to slow down and appreciate the writing experience, starting with filling the pen. If your pen is not writing immediately after plugging in an ink cartridge, have patience. The ink needs time to saturate the feed. You can encourage the process by gently squeezing the ink cartridge to feed the ink into the nib. The more you know. Fountain pens are not the same as ballpoint pens. The nib only needs a light touch on paper. Pressing hard will cause the tines to splay, resulting in permanent damage to your nib. Be kind to your tines. Write gently. The more you know. Don't wreck your pen by pulling a screw off cap. You have a better than average chance that the fountain pen has a screw off cap, and it won't harm a pen if you accidentally attempt to unscrew a pull off cap. When in doubt, unscrew, don't pull. The more you know. In today's world, we're more conscious than ever about cleaning and disinfecting everything. Before you start wiping your pens with antimicrobial chemicals, it's unforgivable if you clean your pens with agents like isopropyl alcohol or acetone you will destroy your pen. To be on the safe side, use plain old soap and water. The more you know. Eyedropper converting a pen can expand a pen's ink capacity and allow you to use bottled ink whereby a pen might only accept ink cartridges. However, not all pens are eyedropper convertible. Any pen that has metal parts in the interior of the barrel should not be eyedroppered. For example, eyedroppering a Caveco Classic Sport, which is made of injection molded resin, is perfectly fine to do. If you eyedropper a Caveco Alsport, which is made of aluminum, the threading that connects the barrel and the grip section will degrade and might even fuse together. Before eyedroppering, consult the hive mind of pen enthusiasts online and check to find results of those who have already tried it. The more you know. Pets and small children are part of life's deepest joys. However, they can also cause great destruction to your pens and ink. Do not underestimate the callousness of animals and the carelessness of children. Make sure your pens and inks 
are safely out of their reach. The more you know. Just like a smartphone, a fountain pen is not immune to drops. Since you can't put an OtterBox case on a fountain pen nib, if your pen rolls off the table, your nib might end up a wreck of twisted metal. When your pen is not in use, put the cap back on. If the cap has a clip or a roll stop, it will prevent the pen from rolling. If your pen does not have a clip, put the pen in a pen holder or a pen case. The more you know. Now that you know about the most egregious offenses towards fountain pens, I'd love to read what blunders you made. Share them in the comments so that others may avoid such grisly fates. If you are brand new to fountain pens and are looking for a quick start guide, check out our entertaining step-by-step -step video here. For tips on how to clean your fountain pen, check out this video here. For more helpful how-tos and pen reviews, subscribe to the Goldspot channel here. Thank you and stay inky, my friends. Take care.